Right, the Higher Education Ministry plans to establish a university that specifically caters for women, which indirectly would increase Malaysia's visibility in higher education and further strengthen its position as an international higher education hub. Minister Dr. Sri Norani Ahmad said currently the number of women enrolled in local public higher education institutions constitutes 61% of the overall student enrollment, while 53% of female students are enrolled in local private higher education institutions. Malaysia currently hosts 131,000 international students, but we target to welcome 250,000 international students by 2025. And this increase also includes a significantly larger student body consisting of women. And this has therefore sparked the idea for Malaysia to establish a university that specifically caters for women. We hope so. And we aim to have one women university in the future in Malaysia. In the QS World University Rankings 2023, only one local university is listed in the top 100. And four out of five local research universities are listed in the top 200. In total, 24 of our universities have climbed in rank, making this year one of our most successful years in higher education concerning ranking. Should we establish a university catering to women? I strongly believe it can help it rise in the QS uh, ranking as well. The ministry is committed to enhancing cooperation and reducing barriers in education services with its international counterpart. In line with this objective, high education institutions have launched many initiatives, such as forging a memorandum of understandings and agreements. This year, Norani had the privilege to witness the signing of 12 memorandum of understandings and one memorandum of agreement in India, Qatar, the United Kingdom, Romania, Turkey and Canada. Furthermore, Norani said, another initiative that the ministry has been working on is the establishment of offshore programs by local universities, such as University Science Malaysia, which established its offshore programs in Turkey last year, and University Kampasa in Malaysia, which will begin its offshore programs in Qatar next month. UKM, for your information, will also be opening its branch campus in Doha in 2025, making it our first public university to have a physical campus abroad. Additionally, there are ongoing discussions on the establishment of the Malay Studies Chair with uh, JNU or Jawaharlal Nehru University in India. And the, another one that we are collaborating with is with the University of Oriental and African Studies at University of London. She said this in her speech at the networking session with the Lady Heads of Mission in Malaysia in Putrajaya on Thursday.